Okay, this is a tutorial for Windows Movie Maker version 2012. In this video, I'm going to show you how to load your movie into Movie Maker, how to cut bits out of the movie that you don't want, how to add an animation, how to put captions on your movie, how to add a title and add credits, and finally, how to save the edited movie. Okay, now I'm assuming that you know how to get your movie from your camcorder into your computer. So the first thing you need to do is start Movie Maker. And I've got mine down here, so I'm just going to click this. Okay, and there you go, there's the, uh, there's the screen that you've got. Next thing you want to do is uh, load your movie into Movie Maker. Now for that, just go into this pane, the right hand pane there, and just click, click here to browse. Okay, now I'm going to choose that one. And we'll click open and then your movie will come into the pane sometimes it might take a while okay now the first thing i want to do is cut out bits that i don't want in the movie so um, we're going to start at the beginning here so start running it press this button here and i'll start running okay and this bit i don't want i don't want okay we do it to there. So I don't want this section from here to there. So what you do to get rid of that now is to go up to the edit. Okay, and right underneath that you'll see split. Okay, so just press that and that'll split it down. So you've got it in two sections now. You've got this section here that you want to get rid of. Now click into that. Okay, and then press your delete key there you go then that'll start from that point okay and you can check it okay. see now what I want to do is put a caption I want to put the words of this song onto the uh, the screen itself okay so I'm just going to move this back a bit good so it's going to come on just as I start. Okay, so what you need to do, go to the Home tab, press the Home tab. Okay, and then find Caption. Okay, click the Caption. There you go. And this is where you write it. So just write, I'm just write uh, the first one. This is the first line. Okay, so you've got that there. Oops, let's check that. Okay, now if you hold your cursor there, you see you get this uh, double-headed arrow. And what you can do, this will, if you uh, double, you know, hold that down and move it, it'll uh, shorten the space. Okay, and then just move it a little bit, and you'll get this four-sided arrow which will let you move that caption and I'm going to move it down here okay right so now let's just play it see what happens here it's a lesson too late for the learning. now if I want to lengthen that so it continues there until I finish the uh, the line, then I can lengthen this. See, so I go click in here, and then go up to where it says text duration, and you can lengthen this. You can make it as long as you want, right, or as short as you want. Let's put it on. Uh, let's say 13 seconds. Make it 13 seconds, okay? So let's see what happens then. Now I want to put another one on here, so that 13 is a bit too long. You see, that's where it's stopped. And I want to put another caption there. And you can't put two on at the same time. 
So what I'm going to do is shorten this text duration. Let's see, let's try 12. Oh, the next one is 13. Oh, there you go. We'll leave it to there anyway. So I'm going to put another one on now. So again, caption. And just put another. Okay, and then again, come down to here, get your your double-headed arrow, usually if you put it on the middle, in the middle there, and you can shorten that, you see. Okay, then wait until you've got a uh, four-sided one, and then you can move it, and we'll put that down there. Okay, now let's try that. Okay, that's cool. So if I and what I'll do is just continue doing that until the end of the song, right? And then I get all the lyrics on. Okay, so once you've done that, once you've done all that, you can come back and you can uh, you can add a title to this rather than just having it start like that. You can add a title, and so go up, uh, and again it's on the the home tab, right? So if uh, it's not already showing, just press the home tab and then just come up in put title. Okay, so you can put the title in here. So you can just uh, get rid of that. Okay, and I'm going to put the title of the song. Okay. There you go. And then just uh, check that. And again, up here you can change the font, you can make it a different size. You can do all these things with it, right, that are a normal, uh, uh, normal software for editing text, yeah? So let's see how that comes up. See that? It kind of fades in and it starts. And you've got it on the screen there. Now that is a little bit sudden, how it suddenly cuts off and the movie starts. So what you can do to soften that up, you can add uh, an animation. So click this tab, Animations, and you can make it uh, fade in, fade out, or whatever. You can check these things. But like if you do that one, see it'll, it will do that. Or if you try that one, you know, or fade in a different way, or that one. There's lots of these things. So I'm going to click that one and put that one on it. Let's see what happens there. So let's go back to the beginning. Okay, press it. There you go. Fades in there. And then you see it's kind of smoother. There you go. And then that all. Uh, then the next thing, maybe you want to, at the end of it, you want to add uh, the credits, or you just want to say something at the end. So what you can do. Yes, let's move this along here, so this goes through oh yeah, just towards the end. Alright, I think also I'd want to edit this as far as getting rid of something. So let's just see the end of this, right? Oh, you know that was the last thing on my mind. So just see where I want this to end. send it there right so what you want to do is cut that off so you've stopped it so now you want to break that uh, the film so go up to the edit menu so press the edit tab and right underneath it is this split so again just press the split okay and come down and I just to make sure it's that one that you you're going to get rid of just click in it there you go and then click delete there you go. Let's just make sure we've got that at the end. There you go, press it again. There you go, and then it'll go off. Pow. Okay, so now, good thing is put in the, uh, the credits, or something you want to say at the end. So again, just press that. 
Now I'm just going to write in here. You can get rid of that. I'm just going to write in here uh, the type uh, who is played by, who made it. Okay. So I'm just going to put a bar here. You can put anything you want in here. Press that down. Okay, so at the end, what you'll get is this. See, the credits will come up, or whatever you want to write there. You can write anything you want. Okay, so now let's consider we've completed all our editing, and this is perfect as you want it. So take this back to the beginning, because now what you want to do is save it. Okay. So in order to save it, what you need to do is go up to this, up to the File tab, click on that, and then come down to Save Movie. That will give you all these options. Save it for computer. Just press that. Then you get this, uh, then you get your dialog box, right? Now, you can change this, and you can uh, put a title on it so you know what it is. So I'm just going to put the name of the song, right? I'm going to just put last thing so that I know what it is. There you go. And now this, if you if you click save now, you've saved it as an as an MP4, which is okay. But what I normally do is uh, save it as a Windows Movie Maker. It's uh, if you want to put it on YouTube, I think it's it's easier for that. So just press that, and then just click the that option. Right, and then you're going to save it as a WMV. Okay, and now just save it. Okay, now this sometimes takes a little bit of time, two or three minutes, depending on the size of your movie. Well, it's okay, just wait for it, go get a cup of coffee or something like that. Wait, wait till it's done. Okay, so there you go. So this little box will come up and you can press whatever you like. I'm just going to press close. Good, okay. So, now all you need to do is, uh, well I'd get rid of this now because you've finished editing this particular movie, so just press the delete. Press it again, get rid of it. Good. Now you've got a choice, you can either do another movie, uh, so you go through the whole thing, you just load that up, or you can just um, end for the day. So I'm just going to end for the day. So I'm just going to click the cross up here. It's the easiest one to do to close it, right? Now you'll find you'll get this dialog box. Do you want to save changes to my movie? Well, we've just changed. We just saved it as a, as a movie, so you don't need to. I would just press no. Otherwise, you're just going to have extra copies of what you've just edited. It. So just press no. And there you go. It's all gone. Okay, well I hope that you enjoyed this, I hope uh, it's useful, and the best thing is just to uh, experiment to play around with it until you've got it.